Hi, welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Bob Flisser. When you want to format cells in Microsoft Excel, there are two basic ways that you can do it. One way is you could do it manually. You can select cells and apply fonts and color and size and alignment and all that. And a faster way to do it is by using styles. And there are built-in styles and there are styles that you create yourself. I'm going to show you both. If you used styles in other programs, Microsoft Word, Adobe programs, or other, you're already familiar with the concept. There are two advantages to using styles. First advantage is simply that it's faster. It's a lot faster to apply a single style than it is to go and start manually applying color and font and alignment and all that. The other advantage is consistency. If you have a lot of cells to format, it's very easy to make a mistake here and there by maybe choosing a slightly bigger or smaller font or maybe a slightly different color. When you're using styles, there's no room for human error. If you want to follow along this tutorial using your own Excel files, that's great, go right ahead. Or if you like, you could download the zip file included in this tutorial, and the zip file contains two files. One file I have open here is called Using Styles, and the other one, I'm just going to go here to the View menu and switch Windows. You can press Control F6 in Windows or Command Accent Mark on the back to switch. But here's the other one. So let me just go back to the original one. We'll come back to this one later. I'll first show you how to use built-in styles. Now you see in this file I've opened called Using Styles, I have two worksheets. And I'm going to start here on the one called Sales by Variety. And you see we have some column headers, typical Excel stuff. I'm going to select these. And what I'm going to do here is on the Home tab, you see I have this button for Cell Styles. Now on your computer, if Excel is wider, you might see not just a button, you might actually see some of the styles already there. It works the same way either way. So I'm going to click this down arrow and you have also a little down arrow with a little hat on it if you're running on a wider screen. And now we have a bunch of built-in styles. Now watch what happens. As I roll the mouse, I'm not clicking anything. I'm just rolling the mouse over some of these styles and you notice how it's changing on the worksheet. By the way, this will not happen on the Mac. On the Mac, you actually have to click something to preview it. But you could always undo. You press Command Z to undo. I'm going to choose this one here, Accent 1, so I'm actually going to click it. You see, if I move the mouse away from it, nothing happens. I actually do have to go and click it. So now I have it applied. I'll just click off it so you could get a better look. All right, that's fine. Now let's go to the other worksheet here called Sales by Customer. And also I'll select the column headers here along row 5. I'll go back to the cell styles, and I'm going to choose that same style. Now if you choose something other than Accent 1, that's okay. Just make sure you're choosing the same built-in style for both worksheets. And I'll click off it so you can see it. All right, let's go back to the first worksheet. So far, it doesn't really look all that great. Okay, fine, there's some built-in formats. What's the big deal? The big deal comes when we start changing things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the mouse pointer on this one here. I'll go back to Cell Styles. There's the accent one that I applied, and I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to choose Modify. Now there's another way of modifying styles, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Right now click Modify, and you see this style dialog box is showing me what is included in the style. So in this built-in style we have a font, which is Calibri 11 points, and we have a fill, which is this medium shaded blue. But we don't have numbering or alignment or borders or protection in the style. So Excel gives you a choice of what attributes are in the style. Well, I just want to change the formatting, so I'll go over here and I'll click Format. And now we have our plain old typical Format Cells dialog box. But what I want to do is I want to go here to Alignment, and I want to make that horizontally centered. So we didn't have horizontal alignment built in yet. Now I'm going to go to the Font tab, and I want to make this like a Franklin Gothic medium. And if you don't have Franklin Gothic, you could choose something else, maybe Helvetica Bold. And I'll make this bold, and I think I'll stick with 11 points, just because Franklin Gothic tends to be a little bit bigger than Calibri. And I'm going to leave this, you see the color is white. But I'm going to go over here to the Fill tab, and I want a darker color. So I'm going to choose this dark blue. And that's fine, I'll click OK. And you see, because we chose Alignment, Alignment is now part of the style. Now nothing changes yet until I click OK. And now they've all changed. You might need to make these columns a little more wide. I'll just drag across the column headers and widen them up. 
But here's what's really great. Let's go here to the other worksheet, sales by customer, and you see it's already changed. Because we changed the definition of what the style is, all of the cells formatted with that style have changed. And also, again, if you need to, you can make any columns wider if you need. Okay, so what if you want a style that has your own custom formatting and doesn't look like any of the built-in styles? That's when you go and create your own custom style. So let's go back here to the first worksheet, Sales by Variety, and I'm going to create a style for the sheet header. So let's select here. I'm still I'm on Sales by Variety. I'm still on the Using Styles workbook. I'm going to select from A1 across here to cell F1, so all of these cells across. Now, there are certain things that styles cannot contain. Um, I'm going to click Merge and Center because I want this to be one merged cell. Styles cannot contain merging information. Also, I'm going to make this a bigger font, so I want row one to be a little taller. So you see where my mouse pointer is here. I'm going to make this a little taller. And styles also can contain row height or column width. So we have to do that manually. So now let's do some style stuff. I'm going to go over here, and I want to make this aligned vertically center. Now it's already aligned horizontally center. You could click that if it isn't on yours. And let's go back here. I'm going to make this let's say a kind of coffee colored background. I want to give this a border. I'm going to give this a thick box outside border. And over here, unlike in that format cells dialog box, here we could actually get previews of what the fonts look like. And this time I'm going to choose maybe a Franklin Gothic heavy. And I'll make that kind of a cream color. And I'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is what I want my style to look like. So to create a style out of the example formatting we just did, let's go back to cell styles. And down here towards the bottom, you see where it says new cell style? You want to click that. And let's give it a name. So I'll call this sheet title. And you see this tells us everything that's in there. Numbers doesn't really matter. You could leave it selected or not, doesn't matter. But alignment, we see it's horizontally to the center and vertically to the center. We have the font and the fill. Now, I applied the border, so I want to make sure that the border is checked. And that's it. Let's click OK. And now let's go and apply it. So I'll go over here to Sales by Customer, and same thing. Let's select the top cells on this worksheet, Merge and Center. We'll make this a little taller. Now we can apply the style. So when we go back here to Cell Styles, look at that. Sheet titles at the top. So you even get a preview just like these others, just like when you're rolling these others. Get a preview. I want it. Click, and there it is. And now anytime in this workbook, and I'll just go here and create a new worksheet, anytime I want to use that style, I have it available. So let's say I'm going to have payroll, and again, I'll just select a bunch of cells, and again, merge and center, make them a little bigger. Brand new worksheet over here, go to cell styles, and there it is. Well, what about other workbooks? because these sheets are all inside this workbook called Using Styles. So let's switch to that other workbook we had open. Go back to View. Go back to Switch Windows and Merging Styles. You could use the keyboard shortcut if you want. And I'll zoom out here a little bit. And let me select these. Problem is, when you go over here to Cell Styles, you don't see those styles that we just created in the first workbook. So what you want to do is, down on bottom here, choose Merge Styles. If you're using a Mac, it's going to say Import Styles. Works the same exact way. Now, when you click it, it shows the other workbook that we had open. That's why I said before you don't want to close it, because Excel can only merge styles from other workbooks that are currently open. So I'll select it, click OK. Merge Styles that have the same name, yes, that's exactly what we want to do. That's what it's all about. Click Yes. Now, we haven't applied any styles. That's why nothing has changed yet. But when we go to Cell Styles, Look at that. We've got this accent one. So select it and apply. There we go. And let's take, again, select the cells across row one. I'll merge and center. Make this a little taller. And now when I go to cell styles, here's the sheet title. And I click it. And there you go. And incidentally, if you ever want to delete a style, just a right click 
you go back to cell styles there's a style that you don't want you can right click it and choose delete now it won't delete any formatting it'll simply delete the fact that the style is there and then anything that's formatted with that style will remain looking exactly the way it did so you can see why styles are so great it's a lot faster to apply a style than it is to go and hunt and peck for all the different formatting components and you can see it also it eliminates human error so there's no mistake of accidentally choosing a slightly different color or a slightly different size and once you create styles you want you can see that you can bring those styles into other workbooks so i hope you enjoyed this and you found it helpful once again for tuts plus my name is bob flisser and i'll see you next time